So in today's video, we're going to be teaching you guys how to trade on FIFA with only 10k. So just before the video does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, €4 Euro, or free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. And I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is bringing you guys a tutorial on how to trade with 10K in December. So the method that we are gonna be doing should hopefully really take you guys from about 10K to about 50 to 100K to then move on to the next method. Now when you've got 10k on FIFA, obviously you do not have much to work with. So that's why there's very specific methods for very low budgets, because if you try and replicate some other methods, yes, you might be able to do those methods, but you're gonna run out of coins very fast, because you know, one or two deals would take up basically all your coins. Well, in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is showing you guys a method that basically can get yourself like seven, eight, nine, ten 10 deals at a time, even with only having 10k, if not more than that, like 13, 14 deals. So the trade cards we are going to be trading with are going to be silvers from the Ligon who are used for the League SBC. Now the reason that these cards are really good is because there are some silvers in the Ligon that sell for a lot more than the bottom rate silvers. Well people aren't aware that these cards sell for a lot more and therefore consistently get underlisted. For example cards that are worth about 1.5k will consistently get listed for 700 coins. And that is how you're going to double your cards per, or double your coins per card. You need to have no more than one card over the hour. So we're going to start off here with Silver Legion, and we're going to go 700 coins. And obviously at 700 coins, there are no cards over the hour, because there's no cards. At 750, there are still no cards over the hour. At 800, and again, you're basically just going to keep on increasing this interval by 50 coins each time. So at 800 coins, how many cards are over the hour? At 800 coins, there are zero cards over the hour. Perfect. So we're going to keep on increasing this. Now the reason we want this to be the highest number possible without there being any cards over the hour, or more than one card over the hour, is because we want to basically cast our net as wide as possible. The wider we cast our net, the more fish we can catch. The more fish we can catch, the more money we can make. So obviously if it's only at 700 coins, I'm not going to be able to get as many deals popping up as if it's 800 coins or 850 coins. But obviously, again, we, we can't have any cards over the hour because I'll explain that in a second. So 850, there's loads of cards over the hour, which means that this will not work for a trading filter, which means we're gonna have to lower it back down there to 800 coins. So we're gonna go silver, legion, maximum buy now, 800 coins. And if by magic, this is gonna be the highest number possible without there being more than one card over the hour. There we go. Now the relevance of there being no more than one card over the hour is because we're gonna be using a mechanic on FIFA called compare price back out. And you'd never believe it, but in this mechanic, we're going to press compare price back out. Because if there is no more than one card over the hour, do you see how brand new cards just appeared out of thin air? I press compare price back out, boom, more cards appear out of thin air. I press compare price back out, more cards appear out of thin air. And these will only appear out of thin air if there is no more than one card over the hour. One card is good, zero cards is good. More than one card, which is two for those that struggle with maths, is not good and therefore will not work. So what we're going to be doing in this method is we're going to be going, basically put in this filter, so Silver Legion, highest buy now possible without there being more than one card, pressing compare price back out and waiting till a deal pops up. But what is a deal for that is a good question, my friend. So there are some cards in the Legion that are absolutely flooded. For example, Stratsborg, we can see the likes of Lorien, we'll see a lot of Mets players popping up, we'll see a lot of Strad uh, Brass players popping up but there are certain clubs that are sell on. So let's go through those clubs. Those clubs are RC Lens, Olympic Lyon, AS Monaco, Paris, well, PSG, Olympic Marseille, Stade de Rennes, and that is it. The rest of the clubs either don't sell on for much more than discard or they are the discard clubs. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna proceed to press compare price back out until, and again, I'll go through it again, Len, a Lens Olympic Marseille, Olympic Lyon, a PSG, or uh, a Stade de Rennes players popped up. So for example, none of them are gonna be good deals. So let's press compare price back out and see if there's any other good deals. None of them are good deals. And you basically just keep on repeating the process of compare price back out until one of the players pops up. So another quick little tip on this method is, is if you are, um, if you want a little bit easier way of finding the good clubs, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna flick your right stick right. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give you this POV. Now this POV is more favorable over this POV because of course you can see that the club badge is a lot bigger 
Uh, and as a result of the club badge being bigger, then you can identify the clubs a little bit easier. But there was an example of a good deal right there, Stad de Renis, but because I was, uh, I guess, showing you guys this thing, we weren't the first to see it. But if we were the first to see it, that could have been a really nice deal there, 300 coins. Now, of course, Montpellier. Uh, when you're doing this method, you can obviously pick the cards up for 800 coins or below, or sorry, whatever the market rate is or below. But, obviously, the cheaper you get it, the better. But, again, if you're expecting to win the 300 coin cards, it's not so realistic. You're only really expecting to win the cards around about the same sort of buy now as you're using. So for me, because I'm using an 800 coin buy now, I don't really expect to win much more than anything listed up for about 700-800 coins. Because um, anything else is normally just instantly sniped. And there we go, we finally have gone and got ourselves a deal. That is a Jacobs from Monaco at 700 coins. Now, Monaco is probably the worst team in the, uh, I guess, selection. Because the players are worth the least out of the rest of the clubs I recommended. But they're still worth enough that if you're on 10k to go and buy the cards. So we've gone and picked them up for 700 coins, so let's go and have a little look what we can sell them for. Now what I'd recommend would be to go and sell for about the second or third cheapest, just because you don't really have to worry about selling for the exact cheapest, because again, if you're on about 10k, well then you can go and pick yourself at 13, 14 deals before you really need something to go and sell on. So we've picked them up there at 700 coins, and I'll probably go and sell them for a K. Now of course that's nothing too insane, but like I said, this is probably the worst club you can get out of the, uh, the list below and we're still making 250 coins which again as a percentage of the card we just won we're basically making about a third on the player we've won which again I understand is, is not big glamorous profit but if you're on 10k you've got to appreciate that your cash flow is going to be very slow and it's going to be quite small because you know the cards are going to be you know you don't have that much to work with really so we're going to go back to the uh, the filter and show you some more deals we managed to get. And again, all we're going to do is we're going to go silver, Ligun, uh, for the highest buy now possible, which again, the point of recording this video is 800 coins. It'll be different when you watch the, um, it'll be different potentially when you guys do this method, because of course, the cheapest card on the market is always changing. But the players that you buy are always the same. In fact, it's actually different right now. I'm actually going to have to go and lower it down to 750 because of those cards over the hour. So some other tips and tricks regarding, um, I guess, when this method is going to be most efficient. It normally will be most efficient 3 p.m. onwards on a weekday. Um, or it will be efficient anytime on the weekend. These cards are these cards do crash on a Thursday, so it's not recommended doing this on a Thursday. That's because of marquee matchup. But then they do rise Friday through to Sunday. So this method is really good to do Friday through to Sunday because of the um, the rise. Now, whilst you're also doing this method, you can just go and buy any of them that pop up really, really cheap. For example, I've seen a few cards literally right there pop up for about 300, 350 coins. Of course, you're more than welcome to go and pick these cards up. But um, obviously, that isn't the bulk of the trading method. Uh, and the reason for that is because they're very, very hard to win. You can try and win them, but uh, as I say, anyone for about three, 400 coins is always going to be a good buy. But the odds on you winning one of them compared to winning one of the guys from a top five league uh, is not as good. Another card, again, we nearly got a deal on right there would have been uh, this guy for 700 coins. We could have bought him there for 700 coins and then probably flipped him for 1.2. So basically making about 500 coins profit on a card we've only bought for 700, which again, two thirds of the value of the card we're making as profit, which again, at the beginning is going to be really good to get in that go getting it going. But, of course, if you're only on a 10k budget, I don't recommend selling for lazy buys because, you know, you need that cash flow, you need your coins back in. But, when you start maybe getting, let's say, 30, 40, 50k, 50k is generally going to go and buy you nearly 100 silvers. So, if you're in no hurry of getting either room on your transfer list or coins, you can just start listing them for lazy buys. And that's the way how this method is basically maximised, like, efficient-wise, efficiency, I guess, is that you get the cards on snipes and then you list them for lazy buyers. And then eventually what will happen is you'll move to the next trading method, which we're going to cover in tomorrow's video on shadow trading. But that is going to wrap it up for Silver Trading Game. This is how to trade on the absolutely tiny budget. If you're interested in other trading videos, I do actually have a Road to Glory where I took an account from zero to, I think it was 970k in just 20 hours of trading. I include this method and loads of other tips and tricks on a low budget if you, I guess, for example, not finding this working. So uh, do make sure to go and check that out. But thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.